Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode playthrough. Uh, today, I'm going to, I think, I'm going to move my nuclear reactor and get this running off you, I think. Now, in order to do this, this is outputting 400 EU tick, so that is H, HV power. So i got to make sure all this stuff accepts HV, and HV is, or is it HV? Yeah, that is tier two, not, no, not that. Want the gold. Yeah, so I think that's tier three, I want to say. So the mass fabricator or matter fabricator, that's tier three replicator, tier four, and the scanners tier four as well, right? So I believe all these I can just hook up to the um, nuclear reactor, I could just run a pipe down here, or a cable, and they would be fine. Now, the thing that won't be fine is this recycler. So let's... Recycler, I'm assuming, is 1, right? Yeah, tier 1. So I need two transformer upgrades in there. So I need two MV transformers, which I think is just cable, yeah. So that's actually not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. All right, so I need two of those. I actually have two basic machine casings here. Oh, why don't I open these loot chests while I'm here? Unbreakable wand, I already have one. Does this have any? No, it doesn't have any bombcraft stuff on it. And a floodlights. I've never used those before. I wonder if you could I'm curious. Mm -hmm. I don't know where like the power goes. Does it go underneath or something like that? I was wondering if I could put the wireless things in those, but uh, it doesn't look like it. All right. But back to the transformer. So this, I need some copper cables. All right. So actually, while well, I'm, let me grab some more of this to keep that running. Lots of plastic. And because I'm basically just using plastic for the, instead of the rubber, it's just easier. Okay, so that in the middle, two of those. Now I need, didn't I need like gold? I think I needed gold cables. This should get. Four, yeah, and the gold needs two each. So yeah, it kind of goes through the plastic. That's the reason I wanted to do that. So throw that back in there. Okay. So and then all I need is ten glass. I'm gonna throw some more. Sand in there. All right, two transformers. <clears throat> so in theory, I didn't mess this up. Yeah. So this is tier one, t 
tier two, tier three, tier four. I just don't want anything to explode. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm so worried about that. All right, so let's break that. We will just break all those. Put the cobble there. <clears throat> and then I think I'll just run the gold cable behind it. Man, I'm so worried. <laughs> let's let's just go ahead and do it. So I need I need about five. Might as well just make all these uh, cables. All right, so. In theory, these can hold up to 512 EU per tick. This output's 400. I'm going to do a backup. And I I think I actually added that backup mod to the pack. All right, so there we go. They didn't blow up. Although that cable, I don't like the looks of how that cable looks. But anyway. So this should, while running, seems to be getting enough power. It does look like I need more of that in there. Um, let's see. Six. And it's still not. Still not enough. You need about eight, I think. Anyway, the is there like a muffler? No, there is for the mechanism. The I can't remember if they... No, they don't, unfortunately. All right, yeah, so even with eight overclockers, still not getting enough to keep this stocked. I think this, I wonder if this is going fast. Yeah, it's going faster, obviously, of course. Um, this speeds up with how much power you're supplying with. So I just supplied it with more power. Um, so now it is going through scrap faster than I'm producing because it is sped up. Um, but yeah. Now another item, I believe, if we look at the replicator, uh, uses. Advanced Alloy is one of them. Electronic circuits are, but those are so easy to get. So if we do a scanner, this should scan. Yep. Fortunately, it's not getting enough power because the mass fab is running, but if I turn that off... Is it still not getting enough power? Might be because of this. Let's see. No, that's still. I wonder why. Because I feel like it got enough with the when I was using the regular cables, but oh well. Okay, so we got the. Advanced alloy scanning, so we can craft that in. 
there is my machine casing that I made in the last episode, but I needed, I think, one more millibucket or something. Of, uh, you, you matter. <clears throat> yeah, so this definitely needs a lot of those. Let me check those upgrades. Um, what are they? Overclockers. So it needs to be done in, what's this from? Modular machinery. Interesting. Yeah, it needs IC2 coolant. Tin in a basic, I mean, they're easy to make. The actual recipe is pretty easy. Uh, IC2 coolant, is there a... All right, so... What do we got here? So distilled water, if you do put distilled water in it with one lapis, you get a, a bucket, or if you do one water, you have to put eight. So distilled water is way, way more efficient. I'm trying to remember how to do the distilled water. Oh, you do it in the, oh, what's the name of those, these things, solar distiller, right, so that, hmm, I think, so if we do, All right, so I need more of those water things. The uh, the nuke, where, which one is it? It's under here, I think. The, what are those called? Infinite water source. Uh, I think that's probably the easiest. I can do a reservoir. But I think the infinite... This thing is just kind of easier. It just needs two buckets, this basic plating. Do I have the basic plating? I don't remember if I made that. No. I feel like I have made that, but I used it all, I think. So I'm thinking... I think I just need one. So I need the graphite ingots again. And that is just, I think I just need. We'll go in there. Perfect. So there is the graphite block. I have four of those. That's right, because I think I was going to make another one, but I didn't make enough. And I need one more lead. Oh, wrong one. So that's, and then that should be enough for four of those. I love how they're... Like this recipe, you get four, and then you get four of these, which you need four of those for this. I like that. So two tin and two water buckets. Two tin, and then I put my other water bucket there. I can't remember where my infinite water source is. All right, did that finish? It did. So 1.8 millibuckets. That should have saved it in there. 
Yeah, perfect. So if I want to make these, it's just one little mill bucket. Um, but now that I'm thinking about it, I really should have a. I should be making a. I need an MSU or whatever the heck that thing is called. Is it the MFSU? MSU. Now, what is. I don't remember the middle one. Alright, that's that. MFE, that's what I was looking for. I should have one of those. So it can store it up. But I will have to rearrange some things. Okay, so infinite. Alright, so thinking. We put this back here. Although I am kind of infringing on my farm. Oh well. So if we put a solar boiler there, I think that will fill both, I'm guessing. Could even put it on top. Or like, oh, why don't I put it right here? I think that's what I'll do. Let's see if that'll work. No, it won't, because it needs a view of the sun, and this is in the way. Because I was thinking I could do a fluid puller from the solar boiler. Let's see if I can... Wait, let's get the solar. I'm trying to think. I can do... If I have... I think if I have distilled water in here, I'll still be able to do that recipe, I think. Right, so this is relatively easy. I already have... don't have... those. Can I... Oh, I already used them. I was going to say, can I make these? Because I do use 36. Well, it's, it's 9 each. I guess. Yeah, and I'm gonna. I need an MFE too, so I'll use that again. I mean, there's lots of different things you use these for. Fluid distributor, item buffer. I have no idea what these use. And obviously, some sort of sorting. And there's a lot of stuff in industrial grass you just never use. Oh, I need to compress these. Is there any other way? Ice Raider, compressor. Do I have a pressurizer? I don't think I do. Home machine. Just speed that up. Throw it back in there. Yeah, this definitely is chewing through the scrap. So, basic machine casings. Let me, before I use this, let me see if I can actually, no. Those aren't, uh, those don't have a recipe, unfortunately. I didn't think they did, because it didn't, it doesn't say on the thing. Uh, and universal cells, I can just use, don't I have two in one of these, you know, since I'm not really using that for steel. Alright, so there's the solar distiller. 
It is? Oh, it is distilling, it looks like. Yeah, it is. So I don't, it doesn't appear to it need, I thought maybe it needed a, a view of the, the sky. It doesn't, but as we can see, it's quite slow. And it doesn't accept like overclockers or anything, because it doesn't use any power. But I do need a pulling fluid pulling upgrade which needs one of those I don't know what it is about that crafting thing but it's... I can't stand that one I should probably just Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I was going to say, I should probably just use... Um, 10 spites and get 9 of these, but this thing is... I don't need to use that much. I don't know how many of these I'm actually going to be using. And this is why I want these overclockers, so I don't have to keep doing this. That's too much. I think six is it? No. Yeah, it's four. And then one more should get the item casings. Is that right? Yeah. So two of those. One of these, I need some more wood. Five of these. All right, so I can never remember. I've done this, what, three times now and I don't remember. It wants to pull from that side. There we go. All right, perfect. Now that'll just kind of run and fill up with distilled water. It's very slow. Um, man, that is slow. Wonder if now the sun's going down. It went below the thing. Did this turn off? Looks like it turned off. Turn this back on, or let's sleep and no, there it goes again. All right, so we'll just kind of wait for that to fill up, and that works. So I, I think I want. I kind of want the NMFP. What was that? That MFE is pretty easy, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. It's not the end of the world. So I need four of those. I do need... What is it? It's 16 diamonds, though, isn't it? But diamonds are so easy to find now. With the scanner.
I think it's, it's like this, right? Yep. Oh, look at these overclockers. Alright, so there's those. I need... Might as well just cover these on here. Alright, and there we go. There's the MFE. <clears throat> now, the only question is, how am I going to do this? Like, how am I going to get the power to that? Unless I do something... Like underneath. Um, everything should be moved down one, really. But then I would lose you matter, and I don't want to do with that. The other option is underneath. This isn't ideal. It's not really how I wanted this. Why is this still running? Oh, this is getting power off this actually. Is that draining? See, that's draining that. I don't want that. I don't think. I was just getting. I was like, it's like, how is that? I'm still making sound. Um. Okay. So if I put this here, I mean, I could also increase my. All right. So even though it's running, it is actually not raining. <clears throat> Looks like. Alright, so that's fine then. We'll just do that. They'll, they'll be running off RF. So we'll just put that there. That's filling up. Yeah, that's the only thing. Because it's going to pull as much power as it can. So it's probably pulling I'm guessing it's pulling 512 EU per tick, but I'm not producing that. I'm only producing 400, so that's why that isn't going to fill up. Let's just double check this is not Nope, it's not draining. Um, but that does remind me I do have two Advanced Solars. No owner. I wonder if we could set these up. Like up here, maybe? I don't really know. Um, these are quite big, right? Eh, it's not too big, but... Alright, so that's the output, I'm guessing. Do I have a... Oh, shift. Apparently shift, right-click, breaks those. Yeah, I guess we can just hook those up. Let's do that. So 
I do have one of those, two of those. Yeah, I might as well use insulated wires. They all should be insulated, technically, but there's some sort of bug with them, or they don't need to be insulated. So I guess about I don't know. We'll just throw that up there. What if that would reach up there? Oh well, not gonna stress about that too much. Right. It's cool it does show you what is obstructed. Wow, they 640 RF protect. Those wires can't even handle that, I don't think. LV wire. Could be wrong. Yeah, that can't handle as much as going through there. So I probably, I don't need both of these. I'm just going to leave that for now. I'm not um, kind of like using RF that much. At the moment, I'm definitely going to be ramping up my power though. Yeah, so that's going up way, way faster. All right. Let's take a look at the quest. Ooh, my <laughs> the look changed. I don't particularly like that theme. We'll do standard light, I think. All right, replicator. Yep. And iridium. Iridium is extremely rare material used for tools and crafting. It's great to automate the replication of this. You can find iridium shards in dungeon loots. All right, so I'm going to have to go out and find some chests. Actually, is there? Let me kind of really quickly look at this. Six monsters, animals. Text nearby structures in the world, including explored structures, fluids. I wonder if I could, like, if I do this or one of these, if I find like a a a spawner, like if I could use that on one. And I don't know. I would have to find one, obviously, in the first place. Um, but I wonder if that's entity or no, I don't I see. I don't know. Or would that just be a block? Um, another thing would possibly be using this on maybe mossy cobble because that usually spawns around a spawner. Um, before I finish the rest of the episode, why don't I? that out really quick. Now the scanner, I think I have I have diamond in there. I don't want to get rid of that because then I would have to find it again. Um, so let me just craft this up. For clay I needed what, a little nugget. I hate hate any recipes that use nuggets. Unless they use nine of them. Just gonna put that out there. Alright, so and then block one is just chiseled stone. I think I already have some there. No, I need stone. 
Alright, so this is totally just... I have no idea if this is going to work, but I just thought it would be kind of cool to check out. Alright, so the scanner... I think it'll do both, I'm guessing. Or we can just do inactive, maybe. So it's not finding any around here. Um, so my guess would be that means there's nothing. I could do the one that increases the range. End of roll, though. I don't know if this stacks or what. It's a couple, but that doesn't look like it would be anything, although there is... It is kind of a large bit. It doesn't really look like... Oops. Yeah, so this is... That isn't a spawner, I don't think. That is just... Like spawn, how it spawns in the... Yeah, unfortunately that is going to pop up. Because of the, yeah. All right, but I'm gonna go take a look and see if I can find some iridium. No, we can uh, replicate that. But I think it's time to move on, uh, possibly to a new mod. Um, I need to at least finish these. Like I said, um, I need to do that kind of in between episodes. I don't think I'm gonna finish all the quests in the book, but I do need these, obviously. These are, looks like they're important, so I gotta craft this stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure where we're gonna go next. Maybe we can get into some... Um, yeah, maybe a magic mod, because we've done all tech mods so far. Um, I have opened up some of this stuff. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, so thanks for watching, and have a good one.